All right, it's the South China Morning Post here, SCMP MMA. We are on location in Bangkok, Thailand. Very happy to be joined by Mikey Musumechi. Mikey, how are you doing, sir? I'm good. Uh, just waiting for weigh-ins later, so I'm just hanging out. Yeah, we're going to grab a very quick interview. Uh, I think Mikey was a little, were you a little like delayed getting to Thailand? Did you have any trouble or anything? No, uh, I was in Singapore the last week getting acclimated to Asia. So I came uh, two days ago in the afternoon, and it's been great here. So much fun. Yeah, uh, that's why we didn't get Mikey on Tuesday. And um, luckily, I just ran into him in the elevator, and he was very kind enough to just come and do this. So uh, we won't keep him too long. But yeah, Mikey, press conference last night. How was the vibe seeing all the people? A lot of media were there. I don't know if you saw at the end, Chattery did a scrum with like 100 uh, Thai journalists, I think. But uh, it, it was pretty packed. Yeah, it was insane, but uh, it was super fun just hanging out with the fighters in the red corner. Um, I predict we all win from the red corner. Uh, we were playing rock, paper, scissors, a serious tournament in the back. So it was really fun. I hear you beat Rod Tang. Yeah, um, honestly, I did win that match. You know, uh, it was a really heated match, but um, I pulled it together. Superborn and him were strategizing in the corner, you know, so um, I was able to pull it off. How much money was, was put on? So I think three of them bet like 10 baht and I didn't have any baht in my wallet. So um, Og took out of my wallet like a $20 bill and just put it on the table, which is like 660 baht. Yeah. And um, yeah, we won. Well, good thing you won then, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's pretty fun. There's some, some nice guys there. So you, you enjoy meeting those guys. You say Ong La there? Yeah, Ong La. Yeah, he's such a nice dude. Yeah, I love Ong La. But um, it's so interesting and awesome. Like we're all from different sports, but we're all like together and like, it was just so much fun. Like we we're like kids in like preschool or kindergarten playing games, you know? That is cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. And let's just talk about the fight though, uh, or the match, should I say. Uh, you've had a, ch- a late change of opponent. We also uh, just saw them, I think. Uh, so we've got Gantamore, your new opponent. Uh, what's it like having to switch things up late on like that? Does it really mess with your head? Uh, have you had it before in your career? Uh, I don't really pay attention to the opponent, just focusing on myself. So it doesn't really matter who's there. You know, so I didn't really care who they put in front of me. Yeah, and uh, it's just still, you know, someone highly qualified, Sambo champion. Um, that that must help in that regard. You, you kind of know he's got similar skills to what I was going to face. Yeah, actually, he's more skilled than the opponent I was going <laughs> to face because he is an MMA fighter and he does jiu-jitsu, so he knows jiu-jitsu, you know. I think the problem with the other matches, the, the sports Sambo guys, they don't know jiu-jitsu at all. Gendemer is a high-level brown belt in Jiu-Jitsu, and he's a combat Sambo world champion, which is basically like MMA. So he's going to be very game with Jiu-Jitsu. So it's going to definitely make it a tougher match for me. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Chattery made a nice announcement during the show. I'm, I'm sure you heard uh, Open Weight Muay Thai Grand Prix. Would you like an Open Weight uh, Grappling Grand Prix, something like that, in one championship? For a million dollars? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a million dollars, I would do it. I mean, I'm wondering who we could have in it. You know, I guess the Rotolos, yourself, uh, Gary Tonin, already some huge names in there, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, I think it's amazing what Chachi and One Championship are doing for the sport of Muay Thai. Uh, this is going to be the biggest event ever for the sport of Muay Thai, you know. Um, it's going to be insane watching open weight Muay Thai. Like, what's going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying it's going to be fun to have big guys with small guys. I think someone asked Anatoly Malakin after his last win whether he'd like to grapple you, and he said you would destroy him. So maybe you guys could fight, uh, could grapple. Oh my God, yeah, he's awesome. He would break me in half. <laughs> he's so big. He is. He's a cool guy, though, isn't he? Yeah. He's so cool. He's so cool. He's teaching me Russian. <laughs> Are you helping him with his English? It's getting better. Yeah, he's getting better. He actually could talk more in English now. Yeah, yeah, very nice guy. Well, it's a yeah huge event. Uh, what else are you looking forward to on this card? Every match, uh, honestly, I think there's two matches after me. I'm going to finish fighting or having my match and immediately run off the mat and just watch the next two because I want to watch those fights with Superborn, with Rod Ting, all those matches, Stamp, like Red Corner all the way. Everyone on the Red Corner is so cool. Like, <laughs> I think it's going to be a clean sw- uh, sweep for the Red Corner. Yeah, and um, I know last time I forgot to bring you, uh, you, you said you love Carbone in Hong Kong. I love Hello. Carboni. I love Carboni in New York City and Las Vegas, and they have it in Hong Kong. So, so instantly, I love Hong Kong because they have Carbone. Yeah. So I promised you last time I was going to bring you some of the uh, rigatoni, I think, which has 
it's just their signature dish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sorry again, but I came from London this time. I was Uh, I was there for Christmas, but uh, I'm sure you'll be. Next time you promise me. Yeah, but as long as you don't mind it being kind of carried on a plane. I don't care at all. I'll heat it up in happiness. Yeah. Would you have to save that till after your match or what? Because I was watching a little clip of Joe Rogan. He says you just eat that kind of stuff uh, in every day. You have like one meal a day. Is that right? Yeah, I eat everything at night basically. But um, I would probably, if you bring me food from Carbone, I would cut weight just because I want to eat that meal. Like I wouldn't care about the, um, that's something I would cut weight for. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. Maybe you can find some Rig Tony here for after your match. Have you already scouted out the area? I'm probably just going to eat Thai food here. You know, I'm in Thailand. I really want to try the street food. Shachi was telling me they have like the best street food in the world. So after my match, I'm going to go crazy with street food. There's some good stuff down the road, actually. Very cheap as well. Less than that. $200 $200 you, or $20 you, you put down yeah. on the table. 660 baht. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about 60 baht. Uh, anyway, Mikey, I know you've got a meeting now, so um, I'll, I'll let you go. Thank you very much for, um, for speaking to me and hopefully catch you after the match. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, mate.